Yeah, we're still on the Sportsmax Zone and we're still talking track and field as we continue our Sportsmax Zone Olympic build-up with our Wednesday feature, Wants to Watch. Here is Kimani O'Sullivan with his eyes on triple jump sensation, Jaden Hibbert. This is Paris Wants to Watch. As fans in sport, it goes without saying that the athletes we call our heroes are not only etched in our hearts because of the brilliance of their craft, but also the charisma which resonates with our soul, which serves as a reminder of an important three-letter word, fun. Sports at its core is entertainment, and who doesn't love a showman? And not just any showman, but a showman that can skip and hop with the elegance of a gazelle, the embodiment of the term wearing your heart on your sleeve, fast-rising Jamaican triple jump sensation Jaden Hibbert is one who knows all too well how to have fun. A meteoric rise to prominence for the young man from Kingston, Jamaica. The 19-year-old Kingston College alum was a revelation for the University of Arkansas, leaving records smashed to pieces in his wake, while doing so in usual Hibbert fashion. Several national records and NCAA accolades later, Hibbert decided it was time to call it quits on his time as a Razorback in favor of going pro. Thank you, University of Arkansas, for the memories, the lessons, and for shaping a kid with a dream into becoming a pro athlete. Here's to the next adventure, always carrying the spirit of the Razorback with me. With the setback of Budapest World Championships behind him, where he registered the longest jump of the meet, 17.70 meters in the prelims, he suffered a hamstring injury on his first attempt in the final and was unable to continue. Fast forward to June 2024 and the 19-year-old lit up the national stadium in Kingston with a massive world lead, a meet record, a stadium record and his second longest effort ever. Following his stellar performance, Hibbert highlighted the importance of having fun. Yeah, if I don't have fun, I don't jump. If I don't do my little get ready with me, I don't jump well. If I'm not in the mood, I won't jump and I made sure that I set the tone well from Monday this week. All good vibes. I trained by myself because I didn't want any negativity. I didn't want anybody to press me. You understand? Because they will literally mess me up. So I just maintain good vibes, continue listening to R&B, gospel, praying, all of that. Um, all of that, you know, set me up well for today's championship. The 2022 World Under 20 champion was also clear that though he's being peaked for this year's Olympic Games, the Budapest World Championships serves as a reminder to always put his best foot forward. Obviously he's trying to beat me for the Olympics, but my thing is this, yes the Olympics, but I learned from Budapest just not to leave it just for the championship, just constantly building, getting better every meet, jump far if you can. I never hold off anything. Some people might neglect that, I don't. I like it that way, but Travis is trying to beat me for Olympics and I'm trusting his program, trusting God in what he's doing and yeah, nothing different, just go to the Olympics, medal, win, who knows, yeah. Maybe the most highly anticipated field event prospect Jamaica has ever had at the Athletics Showpiece event, Jaden Hibbert has Jamaicans daring to dream and is doing it to the beat of his own drum and the steps of his own stride. That's all we have today for Paris Wants to Watch. More to come as we chart our course for the City of Love. Yeah, we, we like to call him a sensation, and we're not misusing the word, Ricardo, because this talent is, like, the sky's the limit. Yeah, it is an amazing talent, and it's great to hear him saying that his coach um, is trying to peak him for the Olympic Games because mm. he will need to be peaked for the Olympic Games because we've seen two Europeans go, um, well, Cuban-born Europeans yeah, yeah. go over 18 meters already this season. Diaz at 18.18 and the reigning Olympic champion, Pablo Picardo, at 18.04. So it will be a titanic event in the French capital, Lance, and I, I, I can't wait. Um, for me... Just hoping that Jaden Hibbert can get through um, the Olympic Games injury-free because I know once he does that, then he has something special to produce. And for me, it doesn't matter whether the color is gold, silver or bronze. 
I just want him to get that first global senior medal out of the way. I would love for it to be the gold medal, but let's not forget this kid is still a junior athlete. In fact, he has said that he plans to go to the World Under-20 Championships this, this year, year yeah. where he wants to do both the triple jump and the long jump. So, um, you know, that, that just shows you this kid is still young. He has a long way to go, but I really want him to get that first it, medal. Kishon Walcott did that in 2012 when he won World Junior Javelin and then went the Olympics and won gold as well. Yeah, Kishon won the World on the 20s first and yes. then went and won the Olympic Games. Okay. Um, this time Jaden would have to do it the other, other way, way around, around. Yeah. Um, by winning the Olympic yeah. title and, then, and yeah. then trying to win the World on the 20 title. Mm. Yeah. All right. It's a fine lineup. For this week's Olympic build-up show, Le Baton, Donald Oliver and Nathan Levy will have a preview to the U.S. trials, plus the interview you've all been excited about, the seven-time Olympic gold medal winning coach, Stephen Francis. I tell you what, if you think the snippets you've heard are fire, you'll want to see this full interview, but we're still going to give you another snippet of what to expect, and he's talking about what you should expect at the national championships next weekend. Yeah, I think we're going to have some very good performances um, from those who it's expected and from others from whom it's not expected are, are kind of in the background.